Greetings from Kangarluswak, Greenland. This uh, city, this town I should say, is very very interesting town. It's very small, small town with a population of uh, approximately 540 uh, people living here and it has the uh, uh, an international airport on uh, on this side and uh, the reason why I uh, I landed uh, here in uh, in Kangarluswa Greenland is because the uh, is the only airport in Greenland that can handle uh, big uh, planes such as uh, Boeing and Airbus as of 2022 there are no other airports in Greenland that can handle those big uh, planes uh, but in 2024 they're planning to open uh, other international airports in Ilulisat uh, another town up north and uh, Nuuk the capital uh, so so this airport actually was built by the uh, by the US military back in 1941 so the whole area the whole area that you see right now was basically established by the uh, by the US government in 1994 and uh, a lot of people are flying to Kangarluswak without knowing that there are two important uh, destinations, two important uh, places to visit. And, uh, and that is the ice cap, the, uh, the world's second largest uh, ice cap. And, it, and it's the only ice cap that you can, that you have easy access uh, to it via, via dirt uh, road, via 25 kilometers dirt road and it, it goes uh, it goes this way so uh, you can take a, a boat not a boat sorry you can take actually a tour um, a tour with special kind of a bus that will handle that kind of road to get all the way to the uh, to the ice cap and the other destination that you need to keep in mind if you fly to uh, Kangarooswa Greenland the other destination is Russell Glacier and it's, uh, it's on the same road on your way to the uh, to the ice cap and uh, all those people all those buildings small houses that you see around me um, basically those people uh, work at the airport or they work at the uh, in the tourism uh, industry it's only about 540 uh, people living here and they're very nice very nice uh, people and as you can see right now this is the airport over there Air Greenland flies uh, direct flight from Copenhagen all the way to uh, all the way to Kangarluswak and that's what I, I did um, yesterday I flew all the way I flew all the way to um, from uh, from Copenhagen and just keep in mind that this city um, Greenland in uh, in general in summertime is uh, full of uh, mosquitoes so as you can see right now I'm, 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 I'm fighting the mosquitoes but I uh, I'm kind of prepared for it because I I, uh, I spread all my clothes uh, jackets and all that kind of stuff with the uh, repellent uh, to uh, to help me uh, fight the uh, mos mosquitoes see but they're still flying around my face I'm trying to um, trying to fight them and the airport it's just uh, actually the airport is inside the uh, I'm sorry the hotel I should say is inside the airport so and the hotel name is uh, Kangar Luswak and I shared that um, I shared that uh, with you in another uh, in another video and uh, there are two uh, short hikes that you uh, that you might be able to do if you are short on time there are uh, probably a two uh, short hikes around the uh, around this uh, this small town but for now I want to um, to walk just to walk down this main street 
and uh, get uh, get a sense of what uh, this place is uh, like let me let me wait till uh, let me wait till the uh, truck passes it's uh, a little bit noisy there you go I'm not uh, I'm not sure what uh, I'm not sure what that building is it's probably it's a hospital or a, I don't know but I would like to uh, I would like to find out and see what uh, is that an apartment complex or a, or a hospital it's really really small town I wonder uh, um, what kind of hospital or clinic uh, they have here it will be nice to find out what this place it looks to me it looks to me that it's kind of uh, I'm not sure it's kind of uh, an apartment uh, complex yeah it is uh, yeah it's an apartment complex just to show you what uh, you see it gets a solar over here yeah it's a big uh, apartment complex and if we get back to the uh, back to the main street and I will uh, I will go to the supermarket just to see what kind of supermarket they have and uh, prices uh, wise as far as uh, how much the food costs here and uh, and groceries uh, much to my surprise I uh, I did not find them that expensive um, compared to uh, I mean if you compare it to uh, other uh, uh, Scandinavian countries such as Denmark and uh, Norway and uh, Sweden they're not that expensive um, I mean uh, one meal here I had a really good uh, good meal yesterday dinner and I spent about uh, I'm gonna convert it to US dollars for the sake of uh, simplicity it's about 25 US dollars and that's uh, that's not really expensive and uh, I mean a, a meal in the US in the United States sometimes costs more than that but keep in mind you are you are in uh, in uh, in Greenland which is very uh, which is very remote remote area you know one of the most remote areas in the world and when you get a meal for like $25 to to $40 you should be happy uh, about that because Greenland is not is not uh, is not a usual country like uh, other countries it's very very remote and I would imagine it cost them so much to uh, to get stuff from outside the country and I totally understand that Iceland was a little bit expensive uh, a, little, a little bit more expensive as I'm walking right now you can see what kind of uh, uh, homes they have here and uh, very nice uh, very nice some kind kind of colorful uh, colorful colorful houses over here and um, tomorrow tomorrow I'm flying to uh, I'm flying to another beautiful uh, beautiful town I'm not gonna tell you now but you will find out if you follow me if you watch uh, my channel it's really really beautiful uh, beautiful town all the way to uh, to the north so it's gonna be a little bit cold because it's all the way on the top above the uh, above the Arctic Circle right now Kangaroo-Luswak is in the Arctic Circle um, if you look at the map Kangaroo-Luswak is the uh, is in the Arctic but uh, the what I'm going tomorrow is above the Arctic and it will be very interesting uh, place to uh, to visit you can see now here is the uh, supermarket and uh, and there is the uh, 
some kind of a gift shop or something like that over there and the hotel entr entrance is there and also the, uh, the airport and if you are uh, if you are taking a, a tour to the ice cap behind me is where the pickup is so you just wait outside the uh, hotel and they will pick you up if you uh, if you book a tour and you, you cannot do uh, you cannot go to the ice cap on your own by yourself it doesn't work like that you cannot rent a car here and you just drive on your own you will have to go through a through a, some kind of a tour organized tour and there is only one company here it's called Arctic Circle Albatross Arctic Circle that they do those kind of uh, tours to uh, the uh, to the ice cap and the Russell Glacier and here is the uh, here is the grocery supermarket and let's go uh, take a walk inside and see what kind of uh, food groceries they have in uh, in Greenland in kind of Muswa. You see that the prices are in uh, kroners, Danish, Danish kroners. So as I'm walking right now, the prices that you see, everything is in kroners. And I was really disappointed yesterday because I could not find banana. They don't have banana in Kangarluswak. I'm not sure why. And this is a conf complex over here. Just to give you an idea, it's the, what is 38 coroners, 38 coroners. So basically, because I am from the United States, I, uh, I, uh, the one dollar is uh, seven, about seven coroners. So every time I see a price like this one, 87, I just uh, divided it by seven coroners to convert it into US dollars. So, uh, very small, small supermarket, and this is the uh, the main supermarket in uh, in Kangarluswak. It may also be the only supermarket in Kangarluswak. So, all those people, 54, 540 people who live here, I would imagine they come here to do their groceries, to do their sh grocery shopping. And, and there is no uh, there is no banana and I did buy uh, I did buy uh, bottled water even though the water here is very uh, very clean the tap water here is, uh, is very clean the, the tap water here is very uh, safe to drink I should say but I ended up buying bottled water because I'm very, my stomach is very sensitive. Um, I had a bad experience in uh, in Iceland last year where I uh, I got sick, and I'm sure it was the water in North Iceland in an area called Mevatten. So that's where I got sick. And uh, and from that experience now, I don't trust the tap water anymore. Even when they say it's uh, it's very safe to drink, so I went to to buy 15 bottled water that will last uh, for for two days. And let's let's this bus. Uh, goes. This is the. This is the. We're gonna go through. Uh, a big bus like that one if you want to visit the uh, the the ice cap the ice cap and that's what I'm gonna do today to visit the ice cap that's another uh, another bus another big truck coming there is no shortage of uh, trucks and uh, buses and and they all work in uh, they all work in tourism you know I'm sure that kind of truck is uh, is going to those uh, 
rough roads that can handle those rough roads so uh, I got about 16 bottle water yesterday that will last me for two days because I drink a lot of water and I paid about about 230 coroners uh, for that and that is about 30 dollars if I'm not mistaken if my math is uh, is correct 30 US dollars this is a little bit expensive you know to buy to spend that much money on just water but it's, it's, it's better to err on the side of caution because I don't want to get sick in a remote area like Greenland and I'm traveling alone and uh, with everything going on with COVID and all that kind of stuff it's better to err on the side of uh, caution and uh, COVID restrictions as far as COVID restrictions goes we are now in uh, in 2022 and there is no COVID restrictions at all as of today no masks nothing zero everything is back to normal knock on wood I mean so far you know and um, probably they uh, they have very good herd immunity because most people already got COVID so COVID is no longer a threat to society as of uh, 2022 and that same goes with uh, uh, Denmark Denmark is the same thing see over here uh, there is another lodge um, if you uh, if you think the uh, um, the hotel Kangarluswak hotel is expensive um, there is another uh, there is another cheaper option for you and it's called the polar lodge over here but that one doesn't come with a private uh, bathroom but I am very uh, I'm very uh, picky when it comes to hotels every time I book a hotel I, I have to have my own bathroom and Kangaroo Luswak hotel is the only hotel in town that comes with a private bathroom and then it's very tough to reserve a room here but if you want your own bathroom in your room book in advance because this hotel is very tough to get um, because it's used by Air Greenland when 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 uh, flights are cancelled because here the weather is not uh, is not that well uh, the flights a lot of flights get cancelled because of the weather so Air Greenland used that hotel to to book uh, to book for uh, for the passengers that are stranded due to the weather issues and this is the Polar Lodge is a cheaper option and also um, it's owned by this uh, company called Albatross Arctic Circle so this is uh, comes with shared bathroom and they have a laundry here if you want to do your laundry you can come here even if you are staying I think even if you're staying in Kangar Luswa um, hotel you can come here and do your laundry if I am if I'm not mistaken and this is another type of uh, truck you see Arctic Circle Albatross so probably today I'm gonna be in a in in, in, in a car like this one to to, to visit the uh, to visit the ice cap you see I'm trying to fight the mosquito so when you see me doing this don't think that I am crazy I'm, I'm just uh, fighting the mosquitoes over here and we will see uh, I'm tr uh, my next uh, stop should be uh, a museum a museum that is uh, that is actually uh, it was the Air Force base a US Air Force base and uh, that one was from 1941 until 1992 that's when the uh, Americans left Kangarluswak in 1992 so basically the whole area was an a U, was a US Air Force from 1941 until 1992 that's when the US um, gave the uh, the whole US base Air Force to uh, to Greenland and now it's totally 100% uh, belongs to Greenland 
so we will go there to the museum and I'm not sure if it's open or not even people at the hotel reception are not sure if it's open or not but at least I just want to check it out and go just to just to check it out I'm still on my way to the museum and the museum is on the other side of the uh, of the town so I have to uh, cross over this bridge over here see as you can see uh, behind me I came from uh, all the way uh, down that's where the town that I show you earlier over there and uh, just uh, off to the left you see this uh, small uh, lake I'm not sure if this is a lake or or something else I'm not sure but uh, regardless you 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 see what uh, what I see now I would imagine all this um, water flowing from the uh, from the ice sheet that I uh, actually the from the Russell uh, glacier that I visited uh, yesterday and I shared that with you in another video and this uh, museum that I'm going to uh, it's actually uh, it will be uh, it will be the old US Air Force and I'm really curious to uh, just to get uh, just to get uh, a sense of what the the buildings are like even if they are uh, even if the museum is closed it will be nice just to go and check and check it out because it would be a shame to visit uh, this uh, remote town called Kangarluswak and not uh, getting the opportunity to uh, fully explore it and uh, as you can uh, as you already know flying to Greenland is very uh, very expensive and uh, because there is no uh, not a lot of uh, traffic coming into uh, Greenland there are only two airlines that uh, fly uh, into a uh, Greenland fly to Greenland and that is uh, Let's let's wait for this bus to go. It's a noisy Another uh, Another bus But that will be uh, I Would say probably this is the uh, the local transportation so They have a, a bus that takes you from the hotel if you don't want to walk uh, to all the way to the museum, but I I I, I chose to uh, to walk as opposed to taking a bus just to explore the town. And yeah, I was talking about airlines. As of today, and year 2022, only two two airlines fly into uh, to uh, to Greenland. Ice, uh, I think, it's Iceland Air. And uh, what's the other one? Air uh, Air Greenland. But uh, in the future, probably starting from 2024, there will be more international flights going to uh, Greenland because they're building they're building new airports in the capital Nuuk and uh, in Ilulisat. That's uh, up north. So in 2024, those airports will will be able to handle. Uh, big uh, planes such as Boeing Airbus so that will open uh, the uh, the tourism industry more in Greenland like Iceland so many tourists go to Iceland because they have the infrastructure they have the airport to handle that heavy traffic but in Greenland they don't have that yet and like I show you the airport Kangaroo Airport is the only airport that handles uh, uh, Airbus and Boeing uh, planes and even even that airport is very small and I show you yesterday it's very very small it, 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 it does not have the capabilities to, to handle so many passengers you know maybe that will change in the future who knows Right, I got to the museum over here, and it's it looks like it's uh, 
<coughs> it's closed. But like I said before, <coughs> it's still worth it to to see what it is like. It's closed. And it's closed due to a very, very interesting, interesting uh, reason. They, uh, they posted a note on the door that um, saying it's closed due to a shortage of staff. They don't have people to, uh, to work, to operate the museum. And they're saying as soon as they find an employee, they said an employee, even if they find one person to work, they will open it. So that sounds like they're very desperate to find people because there are no people here. It's only 540 people live in the, in the whole town. And those people work to serve the uh, the the airport the international airport operations and the hotels and the tourism industry so you could you can imagine they they, they totally have a hard time finding people to operate the whole the whole uh, tourism industry even when i went to the Russian glacier yesterday the uh, the tour guide that operated the tour came from uh, Denmark and he's a very very old guy I would imagine he's into his 80s and uh, he found the job easy because they could not find local people to work so they offered that job to to the an old Danish person to operate that uh, tour I would love to to find people Greenlandic people that operates tour it would be nice to see a local person do the, the does the tours but looks like there are no people uh, n not a lot of people uh, available for work and here out of the sun and I see small small houses on the other side of the town Probably those uh, those small houses uh, were part of the uh, Air Force, U.S. Air Force, back in back in the 1940s. And this uh, city was used in, during the uh, the World War II, and also during the Cold War. You know, um, keep in mind the U.S. left this city in 1992. So that means af even after the first, after the second world, second world war was over in 1995, 1945, the, U the, the Americans stayed until 1992 because they wanted that, they wanted to use this base during the cold war to, um, to um, you know, to, to protect the United States from possible attacks from the Soviet Union they installed a bunch of uh, a bunch of radar stations all around this uh, city and also in other uh, in other remote areas in Greenland to detect any possible Soviet Union attacks on the United States but I guess after 1992 that um, possible attacks on the United States from the Soviet Union was was over I would imagine maybe that's why they left they left uh, this town this base in 1992 and I uh, and I don't know what this building is is that uh, a gift shop or a, or a museum or a, or a hotel or a private property. I don't want to. If it's private property, I'm not. I'm not gonna go and touch it. Probably all these, uh, all these uh, houses are private uh, properties. Maybe people live here.
so I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the uh, to the town now and uh, there are two um, two hikes that you can do in this in this town if you have the time it's called Black Ridge um, Black Ridge hike and the other one is Kangarlooswak Ridge Trail those are the most popular ones but um, it will take time probably two two hours three hours but I don't have the time unfortunately because I need to get back to the hotel and uh, eat lunch and then at 1 o'clock p.m. I have to go to the ice cap and that will take me probably seven hours uh, that tour is gonna take seven hours and I will have the opportunity to walk on the ice cap to walk on the on the world's second largest ice sheet and uh, that will be definitely in another video that will be something else and uh, and then tonight at, at 7 p.m. I will go to another restaurant um, in another uh, in uh, on the other side of the town it's about 30 minutes by uh, bus there is a special bus that takes you all the way down there if you make the reservation and that will be tonight so if I had the time today I would do those two two hikes you know but I don't unfortunately I don't have the time and uh, so I'm gonna wrap up the video I'm gonna end the video and there will be a lot um, a lot of videos of, of, of Greenland so so if you do like this video so um, help me out you know just give this video a thumbs up and follow me if you like these kind of videos because my adventure in Greenland is not over yet and Greenland is not the only country that I will visit there are many many more countries in the future that I will keep visiting and if you like um, to visit Iceland I've done a lot of videos in uh, in Iceland I spent about three three weeks in uh, in Iceland and then in about uh, a month probably uh, not that uh, not uh, about a month a month from now I will be staying in two weeks um, in Greenland and then uh, and then I'm gonna take two weeks break get back to California take break short break two weeks break and then I will be heading to another beautiful destination beautiful country that will be in about a month from now and uh, so my point is um, I will always have adventures you know so for now have a wonderful day take uh, take good care and thank you for watching bye bye